Thank you for tuning in to another episode of Diecast Emporium. Today we're going to take a look at uh, this model right in front of you, the Cat CT660 dump truck by Norscott in 1 to 50 scale. Now this model has starred, um, or co-starred if you will, in plenty of my reviews, but I could not believe looking through my videos that I hadn't reviewed this yet. Norscott made two versions of it. This one for reference is 555502, which is the red version. Move this out of the way for a second. And the yellow version with a black dump bed is for reference 55290. So this particular model, as we get it out of the box, was a huge deal for Caterpillar back in 2011 at the Con Expo show. That's when Cat announced their lineup of on-highway trucks and that they were getting into the market for that. And at the show, they did have these models available to uh, purchase, so Norscott had done them ahead of time. Overall, the truck's a pretty darn good-looking truck, I think, in my opinion. Um, I get the lighting right here. I really like the red paint. It really pops and looks great. Up here, is, there's a nice cat letter almost on your uh, cat graphic on where the air intake would be. Nice turn signals, some lights. Looking out the front, you can see that the cat logo is actually embossed into the grill. It's not a sticker or decal. And really, as the light hits it, it tends to shine pretty, pretty nicely. It looks good. Fully functional steering, although at the range of it is limited, but you can still get some decent poses. But the wheel tends to kind of snap back to the middle. Also, I'm sure you're probably wondering, if you're not familiar with this model, if this drop axle works. It does not. It is simply fixed into position. As you can see there, as I roll the truck along, you'll, you will notice that it's not moving with it. It's fixed at a somewhat higher position. Also, the black tarp up on here... Um, when it comes straight from the factory or the, dis the distributor, wherever you buy this from, uh, this is also fixed in position, but a skilled collector can easily turn this top into a functioning one. Doors don't open, but the hood does. Inside, you can see a pretty decent attempt to model a cat engine. Looks pretty good. On the back, some rubber cap hood flaps, which look great. Uh, two lights here. There is no trailer hitch on this truck, so if you wanted to buy it and you had a beaver tail trailer, um, buy the first gear beaver tail trailer because it comes with an extra hook that you would hook to your dump truck, and then you'd be in business. Here you've got an asphalt chute for some patch jobs or maybe even some salt. And over here, again, very similar. So, how's the dump angle? Actually pretty good. As you can see here, that is the extent of it. The tailgate mechanism is fully functional. Well, if I can get this thing to stay up, there we go. So, and the gate mechanism itself is strong enough that it will hold any pose at any angle that you want, including all the way out or all the way in. These rams here, you have to be careful, as you probably just saw in the video. These are plastic um, casings that hold the metal uh, ram. So you got to be pretty careful with that especially when you put it back down. Underneath, very generic. A few screws underneath should you want to take this truck apart and maybe paint it into your own colors. It's actually pretty easy to do. The only issue there is you'd have this part right here. This grill part tends to not want to come off cleanly. Uh, underneath, two mud flaps here in front of the rear wheels. And although the drop axle actually probably steers better than the front axle does, like I said, it is uh, fixed in, into position. so. Not a whole lot you can do there. But overall, the Norscott Cat CT660 dump truck is a uh, is a pretty worthwhile inclusion in your collection. They're, they're priced reasonably well enough. They look good. And especially if you're planning on getting some of the Tonkin um, 681s that are coming out, or maybe some of the Diecast Masters 680s. Or maybe I have that backwards. Maybe Diecast Masters is coming out with 681s and Tonkin with 680. At any rate, it doesn't really matter. If you're planning on getting the new trucks, this will complement your fleet quite well. So as always, guys, thank you for tuning into my videos, and we'll see you in the next one. Take care.